Hi, my name is Stepan Sindoni. Today's program is entitled, The Gift That Keeps On Giving. Many of you listening and watching to this program are loyal Microsoft Windows users. Over 90% of the world uses Microsoft Windows, whether it be Windows 7, 8, 8.1, or those who are now upgrading to Windows 10. A word of caution before downloading the software, I strongly recommend reading the terms written on the installation agreement because anything you say or do will be monitored and stored on Microsoft servers. You will also be forced to accept mandatory updates whether you want them or not. In my opinion, the only way to use a Microsoft Windows operating system over the Internet was to be signed in as a guest account without Wi-Fi or Bluetooth enabled. Unfortunately, it's sad but true. But don't just take my word for it. Go to my playlist here on Stephen's World TV entitled Microsoft 10 Sucks and listen to what other people have to say about this new operating system. Sindoni says people get hacked because of lack of knowledge. So what are the alternatives? And some of you out there are Apple users and saying, what about Apple? Is Apple any safer or more secure than Windows? The answer is no. Again, don't just take my word. Check out my Apple Sucks playlist and hear what other people have to say about Apple. If you're like me, privacy is a major concern. I don't feel comfortable not being able to see the codes or be able to customize the computer. I want to be the only administrator or root user in my computer. I don't want Big Brother, whether it be Microsoft or Apple, having access to my administrator root password or account. It is an invasion of my privacy. Enough said about Microsoft and Apple. So what is the solution? Internet freedom. And how do we get our free sovereignty back from the prying eyes of Microsoft? The answer is simple. Go down to any of your local retail stores and purchase a gift card, whether it be an American Express, MasterCard, or Visa card, and then activate the card. Sign on to your computer, and then go to your browser and go to ubuntu.com or linuxmint.com and go to the store tab and order a live CD for your computer. And should you not have a CD drive on your computer, order a USB flash drive. And once you get the CD, DVD, or the USB drive, you can simply pop it in your computer, shut off your computer, turn on your BIOS on setup, and I believe pressing F12 should get you into the boot startup order, and you can then change the boot startup order and start the DVD or the USB on your computer. All this information can be found on my Computer Basics playlist or on my Apple Sucks or my Microsoft 10 Sucks playlist. So knowledge is power, and it's important that you guys realize that there is an alternative. You do have a choice. So I do strongly recommend that you try it out because freedom is not an option. It is a way of life for those who realize that they are important in the big scheme of things. So again, until next time, God willing, Stefan Sindoni.